हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मुस्ताक कुल्लू एकेडमी इन इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कंडक्ट अ कॉम्बिनेशनल बयास्ड क्लिपर यूजिंग प्रोटीएस सॉफ्टवेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लुक एट सर्किट डायग्राम इन दिस सर्किट डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट द डायोड डी वन इज कनेक्टेड टू वी वन एंड डायोड डी टू इज कनेक्टेड टू नेगेटिव ऑफ वी टू एंड one resistor is connected at the load and one resistor is connected at the input here we apply the sine wave and here we get the trapezoidal wave or the clipped output as here we can see in this circuit diagram as well as in this waveform now we will perform this with the help of proteus software first go to component mode and click on p type here diode here we can see that generic diode just double click on it that is going to add in this list we also need a resistor type resistor and select the resistor generic symbol resistor symbol double click on it and we also need a transformer we also need a transformer type a transformer here and select simple transformer and double click on it that is going to add in this list and we also need the dc source type dc source here select v source double click on it that is going to add in this list we also need ac source type as ac source here should be carefully type the spelling ac source here select the animated ac voltage source just double click on it and we are done with the component selection now it's time to construct a circuit first we will use the diode here and rotate it accordingly and rotate this diode and we need a resistor take resistor here one resistor at the input and one resistor at the output change its value instead of 10k i will make it as 1k click on 1k and here make it as 1k click on 1k and we'll connect here the voltage source click on v source here we'll connect the voltage source here since it is negative voltage change its direction now i will make the connection here the resistor should be connect here at the input and r2 should connected at the output make the connection here now i will connect a transformer take the transformer one terminal is connected to r1 another terminal is connected to negative of this power supply take this alternator connect at the input connect this here and here we have to change its voltage just double click on it here instead of 6 volt i will make it as 12 volt and instead of 1 hertz i will make it as 50 click on okay once we click on okay now we have to connect a ground symbol here take a ground and here we have to connect to the ground one once we apply this input now it's time to observe the output in order to observe the output we have to connect 
the oscilloscope take the oscilloscope here we can see here this is the oscilloscope now in this oscilloscope we have four channels we use only one channel to observe the output we are using channel a to observe the output here once we connect this now what we will do we will observe the output here just click on run once we click on run here we see that we are observing the output now we will take we will use two channels we will use two channel we will observe both input as well as output stop the simulation i will delete this wire and i will connect a one wire at the input and one wire at the output one channel i am channel a is connecting to input channel b is connecting to output now i will run this and here we can see that in this digital store digital oscilloscope the channel a that is of yellow color channel b is of blue color i will set the voltage channel a as 5 volt channel b i will make it as 2 volt and change its frequency here we can see that the input is clipped in the both the direction in this way we will get the output of combinational clipper here we can measure the voltage i have set the channel b as 2 volt here we can see that it is having two division almost we are getting more than 9 volts now i will change this bias voltage let's change it stop the simulation and change its voltage instead of 1 i will make it as 4 click ok and one more voltage here instead of 1 i will make it as 4 4 voltage here click on 4 now run the this circuit now observe the waveform here go to digital oscilloscope and here we can see that we are getting almost the 10 volt how we get the almost 10 volt here because this is a 4 volt and diode takes 0.7 volt since it's silicon diode 0.7 volt and this turns out to be approximately 4.7 volt and then this turns out to be approximately 4.7 volt hence we will get the peak to peak approximately 9.6 volt hence in this way we conduct the combinational clipper. Friends, in order to get the continuous updates about job scholarship and these kind of technical video, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.